Praise the Lord. God bless you in Jesus' name. This is Samuel E. Molombe, the man that God uses. If you're seeing me for the first time and I welcome you on this platform, the Lord says, exposed. Their plans have been exposed. Now, family, I want you to listen and give me your ears. This prophetic word is so important. Child of God is so important to you. It's so important to your loved ones. Please be sure to give this video a like if you find the value in this prophetic word in Jesus' name. The Lord says that their plan has been exposed. Now, let me start by saying that God has a plan. And of course, this, the enemy has a plan. Satan has a plan. The Bible says that surely they shall gather. As we gather, they gather. As we plan, the plan is says, but because their gathering is not of God, it shall not stand. The Bible says they will gather and be broken in pieces. They will speak their words and it shall not stand. It says, because who is it that says the thing and it comes to pass when the Lord commands it not? There is somebody watching me. They have gathered and cooked your name. They have spoken evil things about you and they have made their plans how they will attack and destroy everything that has to do with you. But the Lord says there is a bigger plan that they are not aware of. <laughs> Hallelujah. There is a bigger plan that they are not aware of. I wrote something down that the Lord said to me. This is very important. The night before the cross, the night before Jesus died, Satan thought Jesus was just only going to die. So he thought that they were winning. Finally, tomorrow is the crucifixion day. I can imagine the celebration. And they were just keeping their fingers crossed. To, you know, we're going to kill him finally. Is this going to happen? Is he going to die? Yeah. So they start torturing him. And then the decree is given. And they are so excited. But they are putting themselves together like, okay, let's just wait. And finally, they carry Jesus to crucify him. And of course, they put him on the cross. And he says it is finished. And he gave up the ghost. Satan thought that he's dead. He thought it's finished. But guess what? He didn't know that there was a bigger plan. Hmm. He didn't know that there was a plan that was bigger. Good news. The Lord says there's a bigger plan for you too. <laughs> they thought they have scattered your relationship. They have destroyed your children. They have turned their hearts against you. They have turned the heart of your spouse against you. But God is saying there's a bigger plan. There's somebody specifically, God is saying that they have connived, they have come together to kick you out of your job or out of the house where you are living. Because I literally see somebody who has been removed, ejected from where he used to be. You were comfortable there and they got you out. But they don't know that God allowed that because the Bible says the later end. It says, better is the end of a thing than the beginning. The Bible says that any one of you that have seen this house in its past glory, he says, when you see it, he said, the glory of this later house shall be greater than, oh, hallelujah. I'm so moved by this prophetic word. Hallelujah. The Lord says, the glory of this later house will be greater than the former. He says, is there anybody who can still remember this house in his past glory? You are the temple of the living God and God is speaking about your life. There are people who will look at your face and they will not be able to recognize you because there is a bigger plan. The Bible tells us of the story of Joseph. Joseph's brothers, they threw him in the pit and they wanted to, to him to die there. And finally, they decided to sell him as a slave. They thought they were killing him. They thought they were doing the worst to him. But they did not know that there was a bigger plan behind the picture that they couldn't see. Hallelujah. The Lord is saying you are going through some difficulties right now. But God only allowed that because it fits perfectly in the bigger plan. You are going through a lot of stress. There is somebody, you say, Apostle, I want to give up. I have come to the end of myself. I have reached my elastic limit. But the Lord is saying there is a bigger plan. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There is a bigger plan. And God only allowed what seems to be like a destruction because of the bigger plan. The Lord says when it is going to be revealed, those demons who thought that they are winning over you, they will carry their hands on their heads because of how glorious you are going to emerge family light shines brighter in thick darkness 
Yes, you are in a dark place. You are in a tunnel and you can't see any light. The Lord is saying he lets you get into that dark place because your light is about to shine so bright that all men will be attracted to it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God says don't be dis don't be discouraged. Don't be don't be despair. Don't be in despair. Don't be de don't don't lose a hope. He says he's about to break forth in that place and everyone will say that God indeed has done good to you. I pray in the name of Jesus that God will give you the grace to go through this season of your life and you will emerge successful and victorious in Jesus' name. Do you receive this word with gladness? Don't forget to share this to get to the persons that God is speaking to and the Lord bless you real good in Jesus' name.